The wicked are estranged from the womb. That's this guy. From the womb. He comes astray from the womb. Telling what? Telling. He goes straight. As soon as they be born. As soon as he was born. As soon as this guy was born. And all of his relatives and all of his descendants. Speaking lies. What do they do? Speaking, speaking lies. lies. Oh, carbon dating. 30,000 years. I can't prove it, but speaking lies. But I go before Adam. Ain't nobody here from Adam. You believe Adam was real? Wait, what are you trying to do? Is that one guy who wrote this book? You know what I believe? You know what I believe? I believe you're a wicked people. I believe you're a wicked people who enslaved a lot of people on this planet. Keep reading. Verse 4. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. You guys are like damn serpents. You're just coming up in here trying to tell me that my book isn't correct. Oh, I know. You know, Jesus Christ wasn't white. He was kind of Arab, you know. You, you might not know this little nigga on the block, but Jesus was like an Arab. He was darker than me. Jesus looked like him. You don't actually know that. I do actually know that. And how do you know if the book is not real? How do you know if the book is not real? How do you know if the book is not real? Because the book says what he looks like. You want to hear it? Give me Revelations 1. Let's hear what he looks like. Shalom, my brothers. I'll see you. Hold up, bro. Take this. According to your book, we're all created. If you said that right, this is our book. This is our book. Give me, give me Psalm 15 and 6. Like, is that 15 and 16? He's an anti theist I can hear you're against the idea of being a God. The God in the Bible is immoral. Right. Is it moral? Yeah. How's that? Like. 
And what's funny is, the most high God is like a jasper and sardine stone. But you ready? And the angels are black in the Bible. Sure. Yeah, the only, the only yeah. damn different person on the, on the planet are like your people. You look back at the recording at the beginning, I said Jesus was black. No, you said he was an Arab. No, I said that was You said not that dark, just a little bit dark. You said it's like an olive. Your people say he's like an olive. I didn't say it. He even said green. He said, well, you know, he said, <laughs> Okay, so check it out. But you also said the book is All not I'm real. What I'm saying is maybe don't believe every single word. You know what this Bible said? This Bible said that your people will take us into slavery. You know, this Bible said that your people would take us on slavery on boats. This Bible said that your people would take us into slavery on boats and then sell us on auction blocks. This Bible said you would take us on boats, sell us into auction blocks, and then rape, rob, and murder, and then lie to us about who we are. Sound pretty accurate to me. Yeah, you want to see it? Moses predicted that. 3,700 years ago, Moses said that would happen. Jesus. He thinks one man wrote the book, so he, he don't know really what's going on. They all contradict each other. No, they don't all contradict each other. Hey, for you to be an eight, did you know a lot about the Bible? Of course, I had to make an informed decision. Yeah, and, and speaking, you know what, though? You kind of made a good decision because give me this. The book of Psalm, chapter 15, verse 16. 5016. You got it? The book of Psalm, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou do, to do to declare my status? Read it again. But unto, but unto the wicked, God says, But unto the wicked, God says, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Well, I'm not wicked. Oh, you are. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right. Because, so let me ask you this. You know so damn much? What's my nationality? Is black a nationality? Is it a race? Is black a race or is it a color of a crayon? Or is it the color of my jacket? Is my skin black? How are you going to trust his definition of what somebody's color is? He telling me black is a nationality. Woo! Black ain't no damn nationality. And you ain't white. You red as hell. You got that Rudolph thing going on. Does your shirt have more than two threads in it? Oh, no. Do I mix fabrics? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I don't have mixed fabrics on. None of, your, none of your clothes have more than one thread. They're all 100%. You should be stoned in the towns of They're all 100%. Everything you own. Not you, but us, because we have to follow the laws of the Most High God. Because he gave us laws. Not to eat pork, not to marry your women. Not to not to not to wear mixed fabrics. Not to yes. Not to eat pork. Not to put more than one gray in the field. I mean, there's a lot of weird shit. There. Is it weird, or is it? it does it make so much sense that you can't handle it? So none of your clothes have got more than one thread. He says they're a hundred percent. No mixed fabrics. No. Hundred percent cotton. Do you mix fabrics? Oh Nobody God. does. It's a hundred percent. No, ninety percent, ten percent polyester. Did I just? How many times I gotta say this to you? You know, you're the devil the Bible speaks of. Come on, dude. You can't take everything in the Bible. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. The point to make is that not everything in the Bible should be taken really seriously. Oh, really? I think everything in the Bible should be taken very seriously. That's and you know what else? I think you should prepare for slavery. Because the Bible says you are going into slavery. Hell is not some dungeon under water. That's your people who invented that. That hell is an underground dungeon. With fire and flames. That's your people that invented that. that. Heaven and hell is a condition. You're in heaven right now. Because you can walk up and down the street, drink a small tea, and then come tell me what you think about my book. But I'm in hell right now because these ponies can sit on my neck for nine minutes. And I got to go back to the damn projects. But this is all going to flip around. And you're going to be going into slavery. And we're going to see how funny it is. And how you feel when the most high God comes back. And you got to deal with what your ancestors did. Because the Most High God is punishing us for our, our forefathers not keeping the commandments. What does Moses mean? What? what is, you don't need to shout. What does Moses mean? I can do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, so you don't need to. You did what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Because it ain't just for you. I'm not here for you. You're not even God's chosen people. The so-called blacks, the Latinos, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. You think you know something, and you don't know a damn thing. You puppets, you condescending. And I don't like you, man. But know this. I don't like you. 
But know this, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Bring it on. Know this. Brother, that's how you rest. He that lead us into captivity. Did your people lead people into captivity? What do you mean, my Did your people? What do you mean, my people? What do you mean, my people? You know who your people are, all right? We're talking about your people. We're talking about the British like colonizing the uh, the forefathers. Druids, like the Druids? Your British colonizing forefathers. Yeah, they were bad. You know who his people are? They went to all of these different lands and subjected the people yeah, they're to harsh bad. punishments. And they put people in slavery? Stole their wealth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. That's all we need. He that lead us into captivity. People who lead people into captivity shall go into captivity. That means you're going to go into captivity. Nice. He who leads people into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword. He that kills with the sword, which your people did, must be killed with the sword. They said they must be killed with the sword, right? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what the patience and the faith of the real saints, the saints of God, the children of Israel, are waiting for. So you got, got something coming for everything you did. 